Hi guys and welcome to part 9 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials and on this part we are going to learn how to configure the Matera design in our Angular application. The first step that we need to do is that we need to install the Angular material. After we install the Angular we are going to import the components so we are going to basically configure the components or the modules that we are going to use and at the end we are going to include the theme that we are going to use throughout our application. So let us start by installing the Angular material. For that go to our solution. The first command that we need to execute in here is npm install save. The save in here makes sure that our package is reflected in our packages.json file as well. And then we are going to install Angular material and Angular CDK. So the packages were both installed. To check it, just go to the package.json file and on package.json file you are going to see that both Angular and the material were installed. To use a component from Angular material you need to configure it and for configurations we have said that we are going to use app.module.ts file. So in here we are going to configure all the material modules that we are going to use in our application. Let us start with a simple button. So we need to import the material button module and we write for that md button module and this module belongs to angular material. So we imported the module but to use it we need to configure and all the modules are configured inside the imports. We save the changes. Now to use this module go to the home component on the home component we delete all the previously added HTML and at the top we create a new button. We save the changes and let's serve our application. And here we see that we have our material design button. Now if you go to the node modules, Angular and Angular material, here you are going to see that we have some pre-built themes. To use one of the pre-built themes, we can import it in our style.css so at the top you simply write import and the theme that you want to use and save the changes. You are going to see that the design changed a little bit and here we have the animation in our button as well. Throughout the application we are going to use different icons like the person icon or a book icon. What you need to do is that you need to go to our index.html file and just below here you need to paste an additional link. I'm going to provide all these links on the description section as well. This is all you need to do to configure material design in our application. I have provided another video link on the description section to learn in more details how to configure it. I've written some custom CSS as well, but since that is not the intention of this course, I'm going to paste it in our styles.css file and provide the link for you on the description section so you can get it as well. So this is all for this part. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.